We are John and Ellie, the Barefoot Doctors. We lost our new Leopard 50 catamaran to fire, so we began our search for the perfect performance catamaran for selling us around the world. After four decades of selling experience, we are very clear about what we want. So join us as we explore new horizons, stretch the boundaries in yacht design, and build the ultimate catamaran. Jump on board for this adventure, and together, who knows what we can achieve? because life is better barefoot. Hi guys, welcome back to another edition of Barefoot Doctor Sailing and we're excited. We're always excited these <laughs> days, but we are very excited because today, this in this episode, we're going to show you something very special, so stay tuned, <laughs> as Raphael would say. <laughs> yeah, we have the first bulkheads being uh, welded together and we're going to show you those today. So that's very exciting. And also we're going to go through some really um, important information, but it's a bit technical about the structural integrity of the boat and how they calculate um, to ensure that all the bulkheads are adequate to hold the boat together in the worst possible sea conditions. So all you technical nerds out there will love it. Okay, <laughs> doke. Now the other thing is at the end of the video we're going to announce a prize to one of our subscribers so make sure you watch to that point because it's very exciting. If you remember last week we said try and guess where we are we'll announce that a little bit later on. So go on, let's get into it and show you our exciting new bulkheads. Let's go. Hello everyone, uh, today we are very proud uh, to show you the first structures of the Portofino 52. Uh, in a while we are going to show you the area where we are, Martina will introduce you very well the single uh, bucket uh, and uh, which cabin and which uh, part of the boat we are going to come. Hello, I'm Martina of Portofino Marine Service, I'm a site engineer of the company. Uh, I'm proud to introduce you today the first structure is of the CAT 52. We are uh, now in the stern of the boat. This is uh, the, the deck okay, of the catamaran. Uh, you can see the deck stiffener and uh, the first bulkhead, the watertight bulkhead of the boat. Come with me inside of the engine room. That is uh, the, the cutter for the uh, box of the center board of the, of the house. Okay, coming to the bow of the boat, uh, we arrive in this uh, cabin that is uh, uh, the VIP cabin uh, bathroom. Okay, and uh, as you can see, this uh, bulkhead is very, very strong, and uh, the stiffener of the bulkhead are very, very tight. This is because uh, uh, this bulkhead, uh, completed with the other side of the catamaran, so the starboard uh, hull, uh, is very, very important for the torsion, for the strength uh, of the boat. Now I am inside of the VIP cabin bathroom. I want to uh, show you the anti-collision bulkhead. Come this side. The anti-collision bulkhead is this one. And uh, it's very important on board uh, because uh, in case of impact uh, of the boat uh, at sea, uh, this uh, make the boat safe from leaking uh, uh, on board. As you can see here, the, these are the, uh, the cut, the hole uh, for uh, the stiffener that uh, goes through. And uh, as you can see, they are uh, uh, watertight. There is uh, no scallop here, no hole. So we finish with the full welding and uh, it's an impossible for the water to, to, to come inside. Hi John, hi Eli. I want to show you something about uh, the structures of Portofino Cat 52 and the uh, FEM analysis we did on your boat. First thing is that uh, all structures and all plates were designed using ISO rules. All structures and all uh, bulkheads were designed to have the best resistance to torque moment and bending moment. We have three important bulkheads on your boat 
the main one is in the bow and these three other bulkheads in the stern are the best way to avoid torque moment and bending moment due to quartering C to the bow and to the stern. Another important characteristic of the boat is the thickness of the plates, most important the thickness of the bottom plates where we have the lifting keel. In this zone the structures were made with a structural box that is all of aluminium of 6 mm with a uh, bottom plate of 15 millimeters that uh, can give uh, the best strength to all uh, these uh, zone of the boat. Obviously the, the boat was designed to go also no, on sand no? yep, yep. and so mm, to, to have the best resistance when you uh, when you put the boat uh, yeah. on the sand uh, for sure all the load uh, all the weight of the boat is uh, probably around uh, this zone. So we decided to give more strength with the kill zone. We have three type of uh, thickness. We have uh, uh, the first uh, the first ring around uh, the the kill box is of fifteen millimeters. So we okay. used another plate of eight eight millimeters. And how far does that go? Is, is that like the central line and maybe? Um, I don't know, uh, six in inches each, each side or how, how much of the, that structure is 15 millimeters? Okay, this is the ring. Okay, I see. Oh, great. Around the keel. You have uh, these uh, um, around... Uh, oh, I see. Okay, mm. okay. It's around, is more than one meter of, uh, uh, of different thickness uh, in, in the bottom. You yeah. have uh, the 15 millimeters, that is the first ring, mm -hmm. and is uh, uh, around uh, um, 400 millimeters each side of the mm -hmm. bottom. And then we have another uh, 200 millimeters each side of 8 millimeters uh, before to have uh, the 6 millimeters of the hull. So mm -hmm. for sure this zone is um, a sort of uh, navy ship <laughs> because it's very, very... Uh, is very very strong and, and so that uh, extra strength obviously is um, for when you sit on the ground but are you seeing it mainly to take the torsion or the twisting of the dagger board or the center board when it's down is that why it needs to be so uh, wide this choice to have uh, three different uh, uh, thickness uh, on the bottom and uh, all these uh, uh, structures uh, no, around this kill box uh, uh, is not uh, linked with uh, uh, give strength uh, to the kill moment. It's not a question of torque uh, or bending on the kill. It's a question that when you go uh, on the sand, uh, for sure all the weight uh, is distributed on uh, this particular zone of the boat. Okay. This is the, the, only, the only reason. When you beach the boat, you never know if you have on the beach some stone, some piece of coral, or why not? Sometimes even something hard, like a piece of steel that is there for some reason, mm -hmm. and you never know. So exactly in the place where the, be the boat will be seated on the beach, mm -hmm. we the size of the bottom to 15 millimeters for mainly for this reason okay. the real reason is uh, that when you see the boat you can hit something and when you have this the, 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 the weight of the boat in that area of course you need to split the, the, the load in a very progressive way this is why I suggested myself to have a ring shape reinforcement talking about the structural uh, uh, point of view, you can't join uh, a 6 millimeter with a 15 because they are two completely different elasticity yeah, models. Yeah. To spread the load uh, gradually to the structure, not in uh, 1 so, millimeter from yeah. 15 to 6. But now let's talk about FEM. What is FEM? FEM is a numerical method to analyze the structural answer of a boat, in this case, under a designed uh, load and a designed uh, boundary condition. 
but what are our boundary condition and our load condition? For sure the load condition is uh, the quartering C that is the worst condition for a catamaran. In Adina software we designed the geometry, each section with their um, mechanical properties and we applied the design load, so the quartering C and the boundary condition as bond on the central beam of the boat. The answer we received from the software is about uh, bending moment and the shear force on the boat due to this uh, uh, quartering C and Z displacement or better the, uh, the moment along Z axis of the boat and of the stern. All these uh, uh, analysis can certificate uh, the quality and the strength of Portofino Cut 52. 25 millimeters is one inch for those people that deal in inches and we're dealing with a 52 foot boat. So you're getting only one inch of movement. Is that the, the movement from one end of the boat to the other end of the boat? Is that what you're saying? Yes, because the, um, this type of stress uh, this type yeah. of torque is, uh, is linear and symmetrical uh -huh. uh, around the midline yeah, of yeah. the boat. Yeah. So yeah. you have 25 millimeters in the stern and 25 millimeters in the bow of the midline yeah. of the boat. Yeah. The analysis we did is, uh, is a, good, uh, a good analysis. Now I can explain better than in, in the short video, but uh, we designed uh, each section uh, of uh, the boat uh, giving to the beam element that is the geometrical element we used uh, to create the the, geo the total geometry of uh, of the cat uh, on adina software so each section has uh, its own uh, mechanical property the design load uh, we calculate with the design load with the italian navy register using uh, the, the formula that is in the Italian uh, Naval Register, we had, for example, for uh, uh, the quartering C, an acceleration in, uh, uh, in G and not in square second. For, from our calculation is of 0 0.8 as G on your boat, on the boat. We used not the acceleration we had of 0.8 G, but we used 1 G. Okay. That is the maximum G you can apply for the Italian Naval Register, but in general, in this type of calculation, is 1 G the maximum acceleration you can give. And the result, in terms of uh, uh, shear force, bending moment, and uh, uh, one of one of the most important things that we wanted to see is uh, the Z displacement, is the moment that uh, the hull or the stern or the bow has uh, along the Z axis. So the moment you have due to the torque moment uh, due to the C. Z displacement in terms of uh, um, millimeters is uh, around 25 millimeters mm. of moment. Uh, in a rosy state, we can consider so for sure is a small moment, no? Mm -hmm, 25 millimeters. Yeah. If you consider no very big waves or in general a rosy state, in, yeah. So yeah. for sure is um, is a good result in terms of uh, structural uh, answer of the boat. Yeah. For sure, the Z displacement is uh, is very low. So in this condition, all the boat is always in a um, elastic elastic behavior and not plastic. When is uh, uh, plastic, you have deformation, you have uh, uh, breaking points uh, in the structure and so on. But uh, if you see the, oh, the structure is very very rigid. Okay, so so I mean I see on the left there's a if it was pink it'd be plastic. Yes. And if it was um, yes. uh, purple it's elastic. And and what is the turquoise color? That's not under strain. Yes, it's considered not under strain. So really, even under the pressures maximum or the high level pressures you put it under, the the load would be spread in an elastic way, which means that it's not going to break. The answer is. Uh, of a, a very very strong okay. boat. Okay, that's that's. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, Rafael, you've got some news for us. Not for you, for everybody. But for everybody, yeah, is it the invitation to La Grande Mart at the oh. Portofino?
Ah. <laughs> we have to stand there. Wow. That's you understand. Excellent. Portofino, 47, 52, and 70. Stand age for April the 12th to the 16th at La Grande Mod. So thanks Emilio, Rafael and Martina for all that really valuable information mm -hmm. and for sharing all that with, with all of you guys out there because I think this is, while it's very technical, it's kind of interesting and it's very important stuff because this is basically um, the sort of important information that proves that a boat is technically sound. And you know what I really love? I love that you guys are coming on the journey and learning stuff as we're learning it too because all that stuff, it, that's new to us. Yeah. So. So I think that's really cool. Okay, let's move on to the prize. Okay. So the question was, what country were we in when we did that filming? Very few clues, trees in the background, we were cold. There was a little bit of street noise, but really no speaking that you could pick up the languages. But we are in Nepal. Yeah. Some people were very, very close actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the person who was the winner, chicken dinner, winner, winner, <laughs> chicken dinner, was Carleen, who comes under the name of C. Wench, one of our very regular subscribers, writes almost every week. So congratulations, Carleen. Yay! You are the winner! That's wild. And what is the prize, honey? <laughs> the prize actually is very something precious to us. In case you didn't know, we are authors. We have written two books over a number of years. And we are going to give Carleen our first book, which is called Mastering Negative Impulsive Thoughts and it was very, very successful. In fact, it won an award. So we're gonna be sending Carleen this very wonderful book, signed, autographed by us, and congratulations, and thanks for being such a supportive trooper on the channel and to us. Would you like to say something about it? Well, it's a really good book because what it teaches people a, a very practical process of how to eliminate negative thoughts inside your own head. And these things occur automatically and we all have them. We have proven, actually Elizabeth did a thesis on this, it is possible to control your own thoughts. The gurus do it, the successful people do it, both business, sports, etc. And so these processes are very fundamental to both your personal happiness and your success in whatever field you're in. But it also has dramatic impacts on relationships, bringing up children and having a happy workplace and all that sort of stuff. So success in life. Just phenomenally powerful stuff. Actually, it's made a millionaire that we know of out of this book as he tore all the pages out and stuck them all up and highlighted stuff. And over a number of years, he became a millionaire. So he got back to us on, you know, and told us all about it. So wonderful stories. So. Mm. Colleen, I hope you enjoy it and... Um, hope you become a millionaire too! <laughs> we just want you to become rich in your soul. <laughs> so, we really hope you've enjoyed this episode. It's a bit technical, but I think it's a really important foundation that we can all learn from and grow onto the next stage of the boat, right? Without any further ado, we will say goodbye from us and we'll see you in the next episode. Stay safe, guys. All the best. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching guys and if you like what we do, show us the love and hit the like button. Then hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss out on your regular fix. Then kick off your shoes and you can come barefoot with us.